Hey guys, Dan here. And if you're wondering how to build out an automated reminder messaging system via WhatsApp, then this is the video for you. I have built out a 24 by seven receptionist and one of the key tasks to this receptionist is to send out automated reminder messages. So I'm really excited to show you this workflow and let's get right into it. Okay, so let's just send out this reminder message and I'll show you that coming through on WhatsApp. Alrighty, as you can see here, I have sent out a reminder message on WhatsApp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I confirm my appointment just by clicking the button. So this is the workflow that I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, this workflow is production ready and it is used currently by one of my clients and it is working really, really well. It is saving a lot of time in double checking appointment scheduling and just sends out the reminders, no worries. And there are a few different tools that I'm using. As you can see, I'm clearly using N8N for scheduling and just the automation process. Uh, as you can see within this workflow, I'm not using any LLM, I'm not using any agent node. So this is a pure automation process. And it is really important to note that you don't need to over engineer uh, using LLMs or agents in order to get a massive efficiency gain within your business. The next software that I'm using is Chatwoot. So Chatwoot is a really important step within the 24 by seven receptionist. As I mentioned in previous videos, the 24 by seven receptionist deals with an omni-channel problem where you need to have uh, messages being replied to on Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, email, all of those different channels. And the agent is able to reply to all of them via this tool using Chatwoot. And Chatwoot is an amazing software as well because you're able to do agent handoff where you can have your staff and the AI agents working in the same solution at the same time. The next thing I'm using is obviously the WhatsApp Business API. Okay, so many people might not realize, but when you're using the WhatsApp Business API for automated messaging, you're not actually able to send an unapproved template to a random person. So the only time that you can real-time communicate with someone is if they give you the approval, and the way that they give you approval is by sending you a message first. So if you are having a conversation with a client or a patient, and they don't speak to you for 24 hours, you're not actually allowed to send them a message saying, hey, how are you going? Do you wanna follow up? Unless that is an approved template, which must be done within the uh, business center within Facebook. So as you can see here, I've got an appointment reminder template message. And it's pretty cool. You can add like uh, this little click function where it's really easy for the person to confirm their appointment. But my template, which has been approved by uh, WhatsApp, and again, you need to have your business completely verified on Facebook in order to use this functionality. But yeah, it's as simple, hi Daniel, this is a reminder for your surf rehab appointment tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m. And so what I'll do if I got this message, which I'll show you later in this video, is I'll just click, I confirm my appointment. And there we go. So Clinico is a fantastic solution for allied healthcare professionals to manage their bookings. So my particular client is using Clinico, and so I have built out an API um, logic system within my NADN workflows in order to interact with Clinico. Now that I have explained the software that I'm using, I'm just gonna go right into the workflow. Firstly, I'm using a schedule trigger. So this trigger is just running at 3 p.m. Uh, every single day. So one day between triggers and trigger at 3 p.m. Pretty simple. We now have a series of like getting credentials. So in order to access the Clinico API, you need to have your credentials. I'm not gonna open up these nodes because I have my credentials here, but essentially once you get your credentials, you feed it into the uh, API call. And this would be different depending on, um, again, who, what, what booking system, maybe using like iCal, maybe using another practice management software. But in order to get the information, for who you're sending the reminder out to, you need to use some sort of database repository. And here we have two items, it should be two items, yeah, two entries, <coughs> where we've got, what, where is the information? So patient name is Daniel Welsh for the first one. And the start time is at 4.30 in the morning, which is tomorrow. As you might know, like this is obviously very early in the morning, uh, so we'll need to convert this to the local time because this is in UTC. 
And their next appointment is with Daniel Dodo. So this is the second number that I have and the appointment time is for 5.50 a.m. So wonderful, we know we got two appointments for tomorrow, but we need to convert the time into local time. So this code node then, um, and I um, didn't actually completely write this out. I used uh, Claude to write this code node for me. I gave it the information from the left in JSON. So what I did was I just used this, copy <coughs> the selection, paste it into Claude. So what I did was I used this selection, copied it into Claude and said, hey Claude, can you write me up a uh, piece of code to convert the time into local time as well as um, yeah, just give me a little bit more structured uh, output for a letter in the workflow. So what this does is I've got the patient name, the start time in UTC format, start time in local, so local uh, appointment time is 4.30 p.m. Uh, appointment notes, which are none, and my, the patient ID, so the Clinico patient ID. And then the second appointment is Daniel Dodo uh, for 1.15 p.m. and this is my uh, secondary patient ID. So that's wonderful. Um, a couple more confirmations here as well. So total appointments two and appointment date. Great. So we have this split out into two different sections. So the reason why I want to do this is because uh, when I'm calling this information, I'm not actually getting all of the information that I want. So I want to get just a little bit more details on the um, from the patient. And in order to do that, I need to call the uh, get patient details API uh, from Clinico. So that's what I do here. So I just have a little split out node here, turning the items into um, defined lists. Oh, sorry, a um, individual entries within the list. And then this little if node, it's just a little check being fed into the Clinico API, actually has a patient ID. Because if it doesn't have a patient ID, then it's just gonna spit out an error. So this is just a little, um, yeah, switch I suppose, or an if statement. And then let's get the patient details. So I'm just gonna run this here. Getting patient details for both of the um, people who have appointments, which is me and myself. So cool, I got the extra details, my email address. I got yeah, a bunch of different information. It checks the number which is on the system, which is my phone number here. And yeah, it does the same for my other number. So if I wanted to just get a little bit more information, uh, then this is the way that I do it. And then again, I do something similar up here, which is I just improve the formatting of the API call. So I just have like this mass amount of really hard to read information coming across and I can just quickly pull the information that I want. What I have here is just a, uh, a merge node. So the merge node is uh, simply turning it into, yeah, something where the, the information is joined. Uh, checked if multiple appointments. So what this does is it makes sure that if someone has booked an appointment uh, or two appointments for that particular day, then I'm not duplicating the reminder message. So for instance, uh, someone might have an appointment at 12 uh, and then it will be 45 minutes and then they also have scheduled the 12.45. So then their actual appointments are from 12 to 1.30, but because they've booked two sessions, I don't want to send them out two uh, reminder messages so this is a way to check if there is multiple appointments and if there is, just condense it down into one. Then again, I just do some formatting um, for splitting out the uh, appointments into uh, their individual sections, making sure that the formatting is all good. And sometimes the formatting is not in the correct um, format for Clinico uh, to send out. So I just gotta make sure that we have the phone numbers in the, um, yeah, so format of phone numbers, as you can see here, uh, there's no plus 62 here, uh, whereas we need to actually have the plus 62 number in order to send out the um, message properly. So phone number here is got the plus 61, and then the format of phone number has got the plus 61. So but the format of phone, the phone number here is <coughs> 62812, uh, and so we just format it in the correct formatting. All right, cool. So let's search for these contacts in Chatwood. I will, I built this workflow out so there is only one contact which has, uh, which is in Chatwood, which is me, and my secondary number is not actually in Chatwood, meaning that this workflow is then going to have to 
uh, create a new contact within Chatwoot before sending out the message. So let's go into the next node, which is so yet one um, goes to the send reminder to an existing contact, and then the next one is we'll have to create a new patient. Okay, so let's just send out this reminder message, and I'll show you that coming through on WhatsApp. Alrighty, as you can see here, I have sent out a reminder message on WhatsApp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I confirm my appointment just by clicking the button. Uh, because the other patient wasn't in the chat word directory, we actually need to create a new patient. So I've just got a couple of API calls here um, to chat word to create this patient. So let's just create the patient. Cool, create the patient. And now let's confirm the new contacts. So let's search for that patient. And then bang, we have now the patient within the chat word. And then it's going to send off the reminder message to the new patient. Awesome. That is the workflow in a nutshell. Let's see this message come through. All right, there we go. We got a message from on my other number. And I confirm my appointment. And there we go. Wonderful. So this is how you would set up an automated reminder message system using the WhatsApp Business API. Obviously, you need to have a few things in order. Um, check out Chatwood. It is a really wonderful way to manage the business API for WhatsApp. And yeah, I hope that by watching this video, maybe you had learned a few things. If there's any questions or you want me to go into anything specific, I'm more than happy to share with you um, my lessons learned and maybe some issues, or I'm also really happy to help out with anyone trying to tackle this problem themselves. But yeah, give us a shout out, make a comment below, or give us a uh, yeah, subscribe for more videos. And I'm looking forward to sharing my journey with you in creating a 24 by seven receptionist, which is production ready. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.